Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in control systems. In this video lecture we shall consider reduce the following block diagram to its canonical form and obtain C of S divided by R of S. So if I look at this particular block diagram, so what would be the first step? So let me consider that. So as we can see here, I cannot reduce this a block diagram further until and unless I shift this takeoff point to the right of G3. So if I do that G2 and G3 will be in series and later they make a minor feedback loop with H1 and G4 and this block would be in parallel. So I said I have to move, I have to shift the takeoff point after G3. So let me write that. Shifting shifting the takeoff point shifting the takeoff point that is after G3 so let me write that after G3 so what happens now if I move this shifting point takeoff point after G3 so I have to move it here what happens then? Then G2 and G3 will be in series. So let me draw that reduced block diagram. So initially I, ha I have one adder over here. Let me consider that. And then there is one block with G1. Let me consider that. And then there is again an adder. So I would consider that. Then now G2 and G3 would become they are in series now. So I would consider G2 into G3 and then I have another block called G4 and here I will be having another block. Yes and then there is an adder over here and then there is another block with H1 and later with H2. Those I am not touching anything. So hence I am keeping all those things as they are. So this would be H1. Later there is another block with H2. Yes, just let me join all these things together so that I would get one step reduced block diagram. Rest of the things I am not touching and I am keeping them as they are. So I request everyone to this to do this numerical along with me so that you can understand it much better. Yes, I'm almost done. So after this I'm going to get the output which is nothing but C of yes. And here I have uh, the feedback loop. I'll just keep this as it is as I said I'm not doing anything to that so that will remain as it is yes from this point onwards it is going to touch this adder so I'll just retain it as it is from the output I'm going to get this block as it is yes almost done from here it goes till the input through this adder as a feedback yes now this is an adder the input is R of yes and the direction I would just keep it as it is so this would be H2 and the sign of that is negative the first block would remain as it is as G1 this is another adder here there is a negative sign I would just keep it as it is so this is one feedback block that is H1 the direction would remain same so G2 and G3 are going to be in series so hence I'm going to write this as G2 into G3 is that fine so after this I have G4 here and there is an adder with a positive sign and this would be the output C of yes so let me join this block over here yes almost done and then from this block till this adder so as I have moved 
so just let me be careful with the direction as i have moved the shifting point take off point after g3 so i have to add 1 by g3 block and that would be in series with g5 therefore it becomes g5 divided by g3 so if i move the take off point to the right of any block i have to add another block with inversion of that that is 1 by g3 over here as that block is in series with g5 it would become g5 divided by g3 is that fine so now what would be the next step so next step is quite simple i can see over here this forms the feedback loop and these two are in parallel that i can see they are getting added up uh, together and ultimately g1 this minor feedback and this parallel block all will all would be in series later that makes a feedback loop with h2 so that would be the end of the solution till that i have to proceed further so first i have what i have to do is g2 g3 and h2 make not h2 it would be h1 h1 make a minor feedback minor feedback loop right then next thing is g5 divided by g3 and g4 are in how they are connected they are in parallel so that would be the next step after this so i have to consider that reduced block diagram so let me consider uh, sketching that stuff now so there is an adder initially then there would be a block called g1 after this i have the reduced block diagram so that i would consider it this way and then there are uh, two pa parallel blocks which are connected together and that is how it is going to uh, look and here i will be having one block with h2 so this is going to be the reduced one let me consider that let me finish this further yes these two are connected in this way this way this way let me connect these things and then the output c of s from the output i am going to get the feedback and that would be connected to this that is h2 from h2 it goes till input so those things remain the same and let me write this as r of s as the input c of s as the output this would be adder with a negative sign these things directions will remain the same as they were earlier yes now just go back and check g1 block would remain same as it is as i haven't done anything to this so i said uh, these two make a minor feedback loop hence it becomes g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 is that fine and then i said these two are in parallel that is g5 by g3 plus g4 so let me write that g5 divided by g3 plus g4 are in series are in parallel hence i would write that with a positive sign so what what happens next so all three blocks are connected in series i can join them together so let me consider the reduced uh, block diagram now so this i would connect all these things together with a one bigger block and uh, later i will have one feedback with h2 so let me consider that and let me join all these things together and i would get a reduced block diagram which looks this way it's almost done i take this as the output c of s and from the output it is fed back to the input through one feedback loop that is h2 yes almost done so let me just join this thing over here yes this would be the input r of s 
and this would be the output c of s this is the block width h2 and now i said uh, this is the adder with a negative sign in this direction and i said all three blocks are in series therefore how would that look like so that is quite uh, easier as well as uh, the simple one i can multiply all these three blocks together so it becomes g1 into g2 into g3 correct and then uh, i have to take the lcm of this so it becomes g5 plus g3 into g4 is that okay so everything gets divided by what so then there i have 1 plus g2 g3 and then there is h1 so this is what it is so what is the next step next step is uh, the feedback loop i have to reduce this feedback loop so let me write that reducing reducing the feedback loop reducing the feedback loop what happens if i reduce so i'm going to get in the numerator what i have g1 g2 and did i miss anything over here just let me check yes uh once i take lcm it becomes g5 plus g3 into g4 there is divided by g3 so there is one term separately so this g3 and this g3 would cancel out so i have g1 g2 in the numerator g1 g2 into bracket g5 plus g3 g4 so that is what i have that gets divided by what i have here is the same thing i am going to write which is 1 plus g2 then there is g3 h1 so all these thing will get uh, divided by so this is there in the numerator g divided by 1 plus g into h that i have to consider so now let me consider 1 plus in place of g i have this so let me write that again g1 g2 into bracket g5 plus g3 into g4 whole thing gets divided by this gets divided by what i have it is there as 1 plus g2 g3 h1 so everything gets multiplied with the feedback which is h2 so this equation i am going to call this as c of s yes divided by r of s yes. so only thing is i just have to simplify this further so how do i simplify this further just take the lcm i am going to get this as uh, g1 g2 into bracket g5 plus g3 into g4 i have this in the denominator that thing also will remain same because i haven't done anything to this 1 plus g2 g3 h1 into so now i'll take the lcm of the denominator and this term comes to the numerator 1 plus g2 g3 h1 and everything gets divided by what it gets divided by so i have to take the lcm i am going to get 1 plus g2 g3 h1 plus so i have this thing that is g1 g2 then let me write h2 into bracket i have g5 plus g3 into g4 so just let me extend this till this point so what happens then then i can cancel out these two term and ultimately finally i am going to get what is there in the numerator in the numerator i will be having g1 into g2 into bracket g5 plus 
g3 into g4 so that is there in the numerator and uh, what is there in the denominator so let me write let me consider writing the denominator now so there is not much change i cannot simplify this any further so it is 1 plus g2 g3 h1 plus then i have g1 g2 h2 just let me write two clearly h2 into bracket i have g5 plus g3 into g4 so this i would call it as the reduced transfer function c of s divided by r of s yes i have explained this numerical step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching